Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore what an integral is or what integration is. An integral is really the opposite of a derivative. Therefore, we sometimes call it an antiderivative. Integration, that's the term of actually doing the process of doing an integral, is the opposite of differentiation. So let's go back and see what differentiation is, and then we'll figure out what the opposite of differentiation is, and then we should be able to understand what an integral and what integration is. Let's start with the equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3, a simple quadratic equation. If we were to graph it, it looks just like this. It goes to the y-axis at x equals 3, it goes to the x-axis at x equals 1, and at x equals 3. So there's two real roots here. If we now take the derivative of that function, we call that dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, we also call it y prime, and the way we do that is we take the exponent from the x variable right here, place it in front, and subtract 1 from the exponent. So 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get 2x to the first power. Same here, we take the exponent, we multiply times the minus 4, so we get minus 4 times 1, times x to the 0 power, and of course anything to the 0 power is simply 1, so we simply get minus 4. And the derivative of a constant, since this is x to the 0 power, we put the 0 in front, 0 times anything is 0, the constant just disappears. So this is what we call the derivative of the original function y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now what does that derivative mean? And especially since it still has the variable x in it. Well what the derivative is, in this particular case, it's the slope for any value of the function x. Now, if I plug, plug in a value, for example, I want to know what the slope of my function is when x equals 0, that's right here, so you can see that's a fairly uh, big negative slope. We plug in 0 for x, 2 times 0 minus 4, that 0 minus 4 gives us minus 4, which means the slope here is minus 4. If you want to know what the slope is at x equals 1, 2 times 1 minus 4, that's minus 2, so at 1 here, the slope is minus 2. If we want to know what the slope is at x equals 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, the slope here is 0, and that looks like it's apparent here, the slope here is 0. And finally, if you want to know what the slope is at x equals 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 4 is a positive 2, so at x equals 3, you can see that we have a positive plus 2 slope. Now, let's say that we start with the derivative, y prime equals 2x minus 4, how do we get back to the original function? If someone says, here's the derivative of a function, I want you to find the function, well, what you need to do to go backwards, that's the opposite of differentiation, is you need to integrate. You need to find the integral of that. So to go from y prime, which is the derivative, back to the original function, we need to do an integration. The symbol for that is as follows. We could then say that y is the integral of y prime. Oh, I should say, put in an equal sign there. So it's basically, now that's not the exact right notation, but we use that little s symbol there, that means integration. We're going to integrate y prime. More properly written, we write it like this. y is equal to the integral of this derivative right here, which is 2x minus 4, and we write times dx. Remember, whenever we take a derivative, we have that dx here. So we put the dx and put it back over here. We write as 2x minus 4 times dx. So we get dy. So y prime or dy goes in here. And to find y, we take the integral of that. Now, how do we take the integral of that? Well, we do the differentiation in reverse. What we do is we add 1 to the exponent. So this is equal to 2x to the 1 plus 1. It had the 1 exponent there, we add 1 to the exponent, and we divide by the new exponent. So 1 plus 1, which is actually 2, but I just want to show you what that means. So we write 2x to the 1 exponent more, or 1 more to the exponent, divided by the new exponent, minus 4, remember this was 4x to the 0 power, we're going to add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent, which is 1. And then we have to add what we call a constant of integration. We just call it C. C stands for constant, and we'll see just in a moment what that means and why we do that. It's kind of a mess. Let's simplify and see what that looks like. So this is equal to 2x squared divided by 2 minus 4x to the first power plus some constant, or let me come over here. We can say that y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus some constant. 
and that is the integral we go back and got the original function back. I say, well, wait a minute. The original function had a 3 there, and you have a c there for a constant, so any arbitrary constant. And the reason for that is that once we take the derivative of a function, if there's a constant there, we lose all information about the constant. It just disappears because the derivative of a constant is 0, and so we get this back, which means we don't know what the constant was in the first place. And no matter what the constant is, the derivative will always be the exact same value. Let me show you. Let's say we had another function. Let's say we had the function y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 8. If we now take the derivative, y prime is equal to 2x minus 4. Again, the constant drops out. Notice that the derivative for this function is exactly the same as the derivative of this function. So when we take the integral, which means the derivative the opposite to the derivative, the antiderivative, we come back, we get the first two terms, but we don't know what the third, term, the third term was. We don't know what the constant was, so we just put a symbol in there. There's some constant there, we just don't know what it was. And so to find out what that constant is, we need to have some more information about the function to figure it out. And we'll show you how to do that later. But now at least, I hope we have an understanding what an integral is and what integration is. In other words, if we take a function and we find the derivative of the function, which basically is finding the slope of the function, then to go take the derivative and get back to the original function, we integrate it. We find the integral of that derivative to get the function back. And that's what we mean by integration. It's at least one of the concepts of integration. There's other concepts, and so we'll show you some more videos to get you familiar with some of these other concepts of integration is. But this is the basic concept of integration. This is, what, this is how you know that you can go back and forth from a function to a derivative, from derivative back to the function. However, of course, that's not the whole story. So if you want to know more about integration and integrals, stay tuned and we'll show you some more videos. That's how it's done.